With our connection to a data source, our finished domain to join and display specific data, and a set of ad hoc views to visualize it all, building an interlinked interactive dashboard is an easy last step. Select Create under Dashboards to get started. From the Dashboard Existing Content panel, select the small right menu and click Folder View. Now we can find our public workshop folder and drag the Profit by Country and City ad hoc view into the Dashboard Canvas. With this in place, let's also drag the ad hoc Profit Timeline by City over to the right of our dual pie chart. Now adjust as needed to fill the space by selecting and dragging the sides of the ad hoc views. You could easily drag additional ad hocs or new content into this canvas, and our views will automatically resize and respond to the space allowed. Now let's interlink these two dashlets by right clicking on our Profit by Country and City ad hoc view and selecting Properties. Next, click on the hyperlinks tag and select Enable Chart Hyperlinks. We can keep the default here, Update Dashboard, and then select Map Parameters. Now select Yes in the dialog to confirm and apply the changes we just made to our dashlet properties. In the Parameter Mapping dialog, select the plus sign at the end of the Store City parameter. We want to select and affect the Profit Timeline by City dashlet with the Store City filter parameter. We select OK to map these parameters and save our dashboard as Profit Dashboard within our workshop folder. Now let's select the view icon in the upper dashboard menu to see our results. Here we see that selecting a city from the dual pie chart passes the store city parameter over to our ad hoc profit timeline by city updating its view. You can also update titles with parameters, create hyperlinks, and embed your dashboard easily into a web framework using our Visualize.js JavaScript API. Look for more workshops on these and other topics as we discover how JasperSoft empowers end users with actionable data.